hello everyone and welcome to my channel again well, i have bought quite a few uh, like storage items and organizational uh, uh, supplies from timo and uh, i thought i might just share those with you as well this package is actually part of uh, the delivery there were just a few things missing in uh, from this package so i thought i'm gonna just uh, include this one in that uh, in this haul and uh, uh, when the other package comes i might uh, uh, like uh, mix that with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the team orders that I have been uh, making and make another whole video but uh, I thought we'll just uh, open this one up and let's see what I've got because I haven't really seen it myself and I hope I haven't cut the thing that I was supposed not to okay so let's put this down so that we don't have too much painful the first thing uh, yeah so these are not only just craft items there are some household things as well that uh, I find uh, I think I might find useful. So one of them is this. Uh, what would you call it? It's like a seat belt cushion, seat belt cushion for kids. So it is quite nice and fluffy. I'm really happy to have that because uh, I have a little one who sits on the booster seat, and the seat belt keeps on uh, like. Uh, rubbing onto the cheek so I uh, I have bought this it's quite simple really easy to clean as well if you need to so you just put this through the seat belt and it stays like that and the cheek can rest on it especially if they fall asleep behind so you won't have to worry about where that's uh, you know that they can fall they can have like a good resting place for their head okay so that's that as i mentioned that i have a little one so and uh, he is kind of knocking himself left right and center with all the corners and the house like the tables and stuff so just a, a few prominent and common use places i have bought these uh, like a, like table corners they're actually quite good they're silicon and uh, they are like the corner protectors so you can just you just stick stick them on to the table and uh, they have like a 3m you can see it's a 3m um adhesive it's quite nice adhesive this whole video if there is going to be a lot of crinkling i am uh giving a warning <laughs> uh, just because uh just because I have just literally just opened it. It arrived today and I was just really excited. So I'm just going to quickly go through the things and uh, later on uh, I'll see if I can attach the prices to the video as well. So this one is an elastic string. It's for jewelry making and some needles as well. I thought I might just give like, uh, I had a few keychains. Uh, so I thought I might just make a few like string beady keychains. So these are needles. I uh, have a few more and it's like a nice storage tube to keep them in. And uh, I think there's three, yeah, three, three needles. I don't know which, whether this one, yeah, it is a needle, isn't it? Yeah. So the last one is also a needle, but I can't see like a, like a needle hole in there. So let's see, quite staticky. Oh, so this hasn't got a hole. I think you just turn it and use it. I think it's for that purpose. Uh, I'll read about it in the Nadu because jewelry making is not something that I do on a regular basis. It's just something that I thought I might give a try. So that's that. All right, next item I really enjoyed making was oh gosh one is coming off let's see it's the beaded pens the beadable pens because when they're not beaded they're called the beadable pens so you can see this one's all wonky so let's see if we can take this out and straighten it shouldn't really be a problem yeah can do that so really easy to make, but beautiful pens. 
I like the metallic color. So this two pack. So I think this was the pack uh, of ten. So there were ten metallic and ten ombre. So in here, like you can see, there is like single color going through, and in these ones, it's like ombre. So it goes from light green to green. It's a beautiful pen. I'm uh, kind of hoping to make a few more beautiful pens with this. And with the beautiful pens uh, to go with them, I think it was a pack of 15, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, because they're all over the place, so I have to dig deep to get these. So yeah, it's a pack of 15 each. So there's 15 metallics. One, two, three. Yeah, 15 metallics and 15, 15 ombre. So quite good bargain actually. Uh, I'll definitely link the prices there for you. So to go with the bead beadable pens, I also got the, the beads. And uh, these are, I think these are called the silicon beads. Mm, it doesn't say anything. It's a 101 piece set. So that's good. Beads are like uh, silicon. For some reason, it says uh, baby chew toy teed, teething, teething beads. Uh, I think they put that in this in that category because these are like silicon. They're like soft plastic toys, but I would never, never ever give a baby this kind of beads. It's dangerous. It's a health hazard. Uh, they can do all sorts of things. They can they can choke on them. So I don't know why they have put that in the baby toy teething section. Uh, similarly, uh, I also bought these ones, and I think these are yeah these are also silicon beads. I like the texture of them. Sorry, I'm not really. Uh, I haven't really tried jewelry making or you know things like that but these are quite nice they're like rubber so it's a nice texture and uh, it's a good feel so they have like a flower and and then the rest of the beads are like uh, different sizes okay, so there's white I'll actually can open it and I can show you. Okay. Come on. I like the packaging that they provide. I only wish they don't have to use so much plastic. But you see, you can see that. It's, uh, and they have like a one white, two pink flowers. I can see in the In there so yeah this is also quite quite good okay the next thing I got I will actually maybe I should just show you craft related items here so going with the theme I also got these uh, uh, like a sports ball themed beads uh, these are also silicon beads, uh, quite soft. I think there's either silicon or soft plastic, like a rubber kind of a material. Not really sure what I would be calling them. But um, I bought these to go with the readable pens, so I'm planning of making the pens and uh, putting those in because I made like pink and yellows for girls. And uh, these, I thought some of these I can make for like like a boys kind of a thing. Right, I also got some needles, self-threading needles. So if any one of you who's an embroiderer or so, they know that some uh, when you come to age, <laughs> it just gets very difficult to thread 
the needles so I got this I can still uh, do that without having any glasses on but just sometimes uh, it's not that visible so I got these threadable needles to see uh, if they can do the job okay probably not for embroidery because I like to work with bullion stitches and I noticed that bullion kind of um, kind of gets really uh, you can't you can't pull it out easily okay uh also these beads i think these used to call what are they called i'm not sure it's uh, acrylics acrylic 12 millimeters uh, yeah these are also to if i can i would make pens uh, and if i can't then i'll try to make bracelets or uh, keychains anything Okay, uh, more I bought. Hmm. That one's really pretty, isn't it? And I got some embroidery threads uh, purely because uh, I was looking for some shaded um, skeins. So these are all the colors like uh, mauve, violet, blue, green, light blue, orange, dark orange red and these are all in shaded colors so each skin uh, goes in ombre shades and when you make uh, do embroidery from from these threads you don't really have to keep on changing the colors you start from the dark from the center of the flower and then you carry on going and if you're doing the leaf you start from the inside and then if you, when you spread out the leaf uh, changes the color i love embroidering if i'm embroidering uh, i love embroidering with the uh, like uh, shaded uh, threads and skins. Right, so this is just to go in the sewing room. It's uh, it's a bobbin holder basically, and um, it rotates as well. That's really cool. I think she's gonna enjoy it. It's like a you put all the bobbins in there, and the thread doesn't lose. So it goes like this. Can you see? Yeah. So it goes like this and I think they can be separated. Yeah, they can be separated as well if you need to. Uh, I won't really separate them. I might just buy another tower and uh, just build upon that. Because uh, these, this is a really good idea just to organize all of your bobbins in one place. Okay. So, uh, yeah, one more thing left. I'll just share that quickly with you too and then we can move on to the next items which might be a little bit longer. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my phone was out of charge so I need to charge it up a bit before I could start my video again. Okay, so the next item is the paintbrush cleaner yeah so we have to make it so once I've assembled it I can give you a review about it so but this is how it comes it's got all the bits and pieces and I think I bought green color yeah I bought the green color on board because uh, the pink wasn't available okay <laughs> so now I have some storage boxes and inside the storage boxes are some things uh, so I'll share those with you as well. So first thing is uh, the rectangular storage boxes. Uh, they're quite good, quite spacious to keep your um, stickers, ephemera, things like that. I've actually bought it so that I can, uh, we can say categorize my, uh, what would you say, hobbies like diamond painting and uh, wax smells things like that so i can just put them in um in one box so they're easier to reach so i'm just going to show you a small bits and bobs that i got uh i got these dried up flowers i'm thinking of doing the hot glue hack with the uh, with the wax seal stamps I've, I've also bought the the blank one so i'll see how nicely uh, they come and then i'll share them with you 
uh, I got uh, this really teeny tiny bee die. Uh, I'm, I won't be testing any of the dies today because I'm just going to quickly try and uh, go through all the supplies that I got. I also got uh, the butterfly layering die so you can cut from one die you can cut the outer and the inner and the body of the butterfly as well so that's why I think it's it's quite reasonably priced and quite a good thing to have I got some beads uh, bead needles bead okay the other storage that I got actually and I quite like it is uh, these small storage boxes in a big box before i got these then they came as individual boxes but these are quite good really nice sturdy boxes and you can separate all your things and uh, it closes down so there's no uh, like um, problem in separating the things that you want to do i might use that for my beads and stuff because i have actually accumulated a lot of beads uh, the for like uh, beadable pens and things like that this uh, is another storage box and this is basically for keeping smaller beads or uh, drills for your diamond painting the good thing about these is that they are actually in a row but they are each one of them is it pops up individually I already had uh, a box like that but my daughter was quite interested in it so she took it and she has organized her small jewelry bits in them so I bought another one for myself so that uh, when I start diamond painting I can organize all my drills in there okay uh, right okay I also got I will show you one of these. These are stackable drawers that you can put on top of your desk. And at the moment, I have a lot of like jars and other things that hold my pens and stuff. So I got these. So I'd be thinking that I am going to keep them on my desk and organize like my adhesives in one and uh, another one can have my uh, pens and pencils things like that so the drawers themselves are quite good because you can see it completely oh, i'm going to show you the bottom one it completely opens and there's like a stopper there so uh, it's a lot easier to uh, you you don't you you can't take it out fully so it stays in its place so that's actually quite nice also, uh, and I got, I think I got all the colors because I really like. So it comes in orange, yellow that I have shown you. And there's the white one. The white one comes with a bit darker, darker color or drawer. And there's a light blue and a teal. <clears throat> Sorry. And they look really pretty on the desk uh, and I'm quite happy with it this plastic is quite nice and sturdy and I don't really think that anything's gonna happen to it it's quite nice like even if it drops it's not one of those plastics that's gonna break immediately so I'm just gonna show you the things that I actually was putting in the drawer just to see how many things each drawer can take so that I can have an idea of how to organize I'm just going to take these things out because some of them were actually like part of a kit. So uh, we'll go through the kit first. So this came as part of a kit and it has the jewelry making wire. Sorry for the big noise. I kept them in the bag so that I can't, uh, I don't lose them. And I got another one of those, uh, uh, what are they called? The, the jump ring opener. Yeah, it's the jump ring opener. Came with the cord and a gold wire as well as the silver wire. So these are all like jewelry making wires. 
and it also came with some nylon nylon thread so that is 0 0.5 and uh, it came with a tweezer set of tweezers as well as uh, wire cutting pliers I wanted a set of pliers anyway to separate the dies so I'm quite happy that these all came in one yeah and uh, the thing that it came with was uh, the jewelry findings so it's got like uh, clasps it's got lobster claws and uh, actually I'll open it for you I really don't want to open it the wrong way around so there you go so it's got two sizes of jump rings some really small I I think I know what they're called they're, they're really teeny tiny they're like stoppers they're like beads gold beads but you put them at the end uh, to create like a stop and there are there are some really small like uh, hooks to screw uh, to screw like you know the picture frame hooks they like that but they are to screw screw in and uh, I got they have some uh, I think they're called nose pins I'm not really sure actually but these are the pins and uh, these are some more clasps uh, you put at the end I think they put they put at the end of cords uh, and uh, just to secure them as well as uh, I can get hold of it oh sorry I didn't realize I was in frame there you go okay so there are these ones so once I start a bit of jewelry making it, it just came in the kit so I thought I might I might just rather get the hole these are for the earrings some lobster claws and some of these uh, findings that go uh, on the flat side is just to go on the flat side of the ribbon I think just to uh, clasp it so yeah so this was all a set all these they came in a set that's why I had them together uh, I think I have them together in the box so that I don't lose them Right. Okay, also, I bought some magnets just for some future pro uh, projects because I used the uh, Velcro strips, but I wasn't really happy with them. They're not very. Um, they're not very sturdy. They don't. They don't have a good tack and they keep on uh, ripping my paper so uh, for next journals and stuff i'm gonna use the magnets so i got these magnets and i got a bit wider ones they're quite strong actually quite difficult to attach i got a bit stronger ones for uh, for a bit sturdier projects see you can actually use them for positioning as well right i got this die it's really cute it's a house pop in die pop out house pop out die i didn't make it i did try it because you can, see, you can see there's like stuff still in uh stuck this card stuck in the frame look stars popping out see? there you go but i don't know where i put it I was just testing it quickly so I wasn't really intending to show it but it's really small it's actually really really small um, a really beautiful like idea I think if you cut it a few times you can stick them into places and it might just give it a bit more sturdiness but otherwise it's actually really really um, what would you say it becomes quite delicate once you make it because of the size of it and this size wise is four by 
three and a quarter. So yeah, it's four. by three and a quarter okay by cuts through cuts like butter no problem at all what doesn't cut like butter and uh, I was quite disappointed at was this layering die I kept on thinking whether I should get it or not because it was like six pounds. Still a lot cheaper for the price of a, you know, the layering die. They're really expensive. Six or something. I will definitely be putting the prices up so you can have a look. But it gave me such a hard time, honestly, to cut. I went through paper and paper and it was just not cutting at all. Then eventually I went on YouTube and I found a hack and if you put like a grease proof paper between the die and the paper and the card it actually cuts smoother and it did then but uh, on its own it just doesn't cut at all. That was one um, what would you say disadvantage of uh, having that they have to go through hassle. But if you put the butter paper, grease proof paper in there, it just cuts like butter. And uh, every every single thing comes out really clearly. I don't know how it works actually. But I have heard that if you put wax proof paper a lot between the dyes, it actually damages them as well. Because there's wax then and it just gets stuck between the creases. I hope I don't have to use it a lot. But that is literally the only dye that I had to use, the wax proof paper, the grease proof paper. And uh, apart from that, I never actually had to use this. I also got uh, a silicon mold. Actually, I was going, uh, I actually put a lot of things in my basket, honestly speaking. Because uh, I thought I'll get resin, resin I'll uh, try to. Um, but uh, when I went on internet, I found out that there's actually a lot of health hazards related to resin. So I'm I'm actually in double minds whether I should start on this craft or not because uh, or purely because uh, I don't want anything that would be damaging to the environment as well as my lungs. Although plastic also is, but most of most of it I put for recycling. So hopefully, it ju it does get recycled. Uh, so that was actually uh, uh, bought by mistake, but I'll just keep it and see if I can use it for something else. Okay, this was actually in the household item. It's like a uh, it's like a fridge shelf that goes on top of the shelf and it's extendable to keep fruits and stuff. I just brought it so that I can uh, give my, a bit more extension to my existing shelves and just to have something on top where I can keep my bits and bobs. So I bought two of these. And I also bought this. This is actually an acrylic drawer. And it, you stick it actually. It comes with these, uh, with the like, it looks like a nano tape to me. Um, I think it is the nano tape here. Yeah, so you just put the nano tape on top of these pieces, and uh, the drawer, you can then use it like what it's, it just goes under the desk. So the good thing is that it does pop there. So it's not gonna move so that's one another drawer like i said i bought a lot of storage so i'm just going through those things now okay uh, another big storage that i got was these a4 boxes just to keep the my speciality a4 paper in uh like uh, uh like the mirror cards and uh, some some special linen papers and embossed paper I thought 
So I quite I quite like these boxes. They're quite nice and sturdy. And so yeah, it opens like this. They're quite good boxes actually because uh, you can put your kids like uh, you can put like your projects in there. I bought the, three of these boxes, and there's a third one which holds some of my buys. I also bought some uh, double-sided tape because why not? And also uh, this is self-adhesive cold laminating film. So basically it's a laminating film, but this is actually like a transparent sticky paper, sticky sheet, yeah. So really cool idea actually because you can you can actually laminate your bookmarks and stuff and if you can see it's really it's got really beautiful like a holographic print so i think there's like two of each and uh, if i'm not mistaken there are eight sheets in one so i'll see how this goes and if any good, then I will definitely buy some more of these. Oh. There. It's got a really good stick to it. I think it's going to be so nice to put on your die cuts. It's going to be lovely. Okay, so uh, it's got... A For these uh, snowflakes as well, so it would be nice for Christmas. Imagine building a Santa Claus die cut and then covering that with these with this film. And and the other one is stars. They're all quite nice actually. Let's just take them all out and I can show you. The only problem is putting them back. It's at the back. So this one has sticky at the back. That's good actually. Because then it's not gonna stick. So there's the star one. Oh and there's a low heart one. And I think there's two of each sheets. Yeah. Love heart. And stars and snowflakes. And this is the star. Well, quite happy with my purchases. I'm honestly, I'm not joking. It's uh, it's it's something worth trying. If you are a hobbyist, if you are a crafter, give it a try and see what you think about it. Okay, I'm going to sign off and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night or whenever, whenever you're watching this video. And uh, please like and subscribe my video and subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.